Hi, this is Dave from Finale's Customs. This video is going to go over some of the products that I sell and build uh, in my woodworking small business and hopefully some tips uh, that can help you stand out with other crafters and woodworkers in your area if you're uh, starting your own business or you've been doing it for a little bit but not growing as fast as you may like, uh, especially right now with the economy is not that great. So these are going to be some, uh, some of the products I sell, uh, how, how I built them to a certain extent. It's not a, a detailed build. It's just going to be showing you some of the things I do, some little tips, and uh, and where you know how you can sell your products and, and where you can sell your products. Like I think Facebook Marketplace is a good one. Um, Offer up Craigslist. If you have your own website, like I do, which doesn't really bring me much business, but it's a good good uh, portfolio for my products uh, that I send the link to my uh, potential clients, and hopefully it helps uh, helps you if you have that that capability. But also word of mouth is going to be your biggest. Uh, drive our business so that's how my business pretty much runs me now it's pretty much uh, word of mouth repeat customers things of that nature so this is going to be going over some subtle little tips uh you know what, what i sell you know and some just some ideas if you're if you are looking to get in this type, type of business all right let's get into it okay so this table is done this is my latest pro project that i just finished and here's a good example of some ideas that you can do on your on your work that could hopefully help your work stand out. This is just basic poplar uh, with Osmo finish on it. Um, that's it. Uh, so mineral oil too, uh, to give it a little dark color. So this poplar, you know, it's a softer wood. So it's, you know, this is a gift uh, table for somebody. So, but it came out really nice. But here's some subtle tips. Um, and and it, in the video will show you me doing these tips uh, and other things. So like this, for example, these stretchers and aprons, I just ran them through the table saw in the middle portion of the, uh, of the stretcher and apron so it gives it like a nice little detailed design also another big thing for me is is reveals i think reveals definitely make your product stand out chamfered edges on their tops or rounded edges i don't know if you can see that nice little chamfer 45 degree chamfer uh also nice little tapered legs this is very subtle it's not too aggressive if you can see going up it's a little wider thicker up top and it goes down a little bit. I put about 18 degree angle on these chamfers. I use, I have a jig. So, that, and in the video will show this. This is the kind of things that you can do that could hopefully help you stand out uh, with your product. You know, um, good detailed work, uh, little details that stand out, you know, grain patterns and things like that, hopefully will help you. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so most of my furniture is, is uh, rustic farmhouse. That's what I pretty much started my business on. Uh, it seems to be a pretty big seller. If you're a new woodworker, I would definitely recommend starting there possibly or cutting boards or, or things like that. But also we have this modern type furniture here too, which is more going to be hardwoods, um, more natural finishes. Uh, and then you have your, your beachy and also your farmhouse, which the beachy is going to be more like your whites uh, and grays, um, white and blue. And the farmhouse is going to be more like white and brown and, you know, darker colors. Um, more, a lot more stain and paint. Um, the beach is going to be like the brighter colors, which uh, that seems to sell really well. It has to match their home decor. If they're in a beach town, uh, you know, they, they'll have the whites and the blues, white and turquoise, a lot of white and gray. Um, and I, I build a ton of this stuff. Uh, we have a lot of beach towns near me, so I, you know, up the East Coast, so I do sell furniture to them and this is some of this beach decor here and i i do like this this furniture it's kind of classical but it also has like the colors that kind of challenges you and kind of puts you in like in a you know different space where you you not it takes you out of your comfort zone so some of this beach stuff uh but the rustic farmhouse is going to be more um just your classic white and browns some white and gray just you know the upside down v's you know a little more dings and dents in the, in the furniture that people seem to like the more rustic look um, and this is how some of the farmhouse looks now. It has like a lot of browns and things like that. Okay, so let's get into some of these um, these products. Okay, so this here are two end tables I, I built not too long ago, and I believe there's a video on this. These are white oak, all white oak, everything. Uh, there's no other wood types in here. And these were good because I didn't have to put any finish on them. Uh, the client, I think, wanted to stain them themselves, which... I'm not sure what they were going to do with these. I think they look good as they were. And so here's some other examples of dining room tables. These are just basic 
dining room tables you could build these um, any way you like and we'll get into that a little bit later in the video uh, but this is like the uh, maple dining room table um, ambrosia maple you can see it's, it's very farmhouse even though it's maple and these also these end tables here these are big sellers uh, the drawers uh, I don't do the real expensive drawer slides unless people want to pay for that um, there's a higher line of furniture keep that in mind uh, you're gonna have a lower line of furniture and you're gonna have a higher line or midline of furniture so uh, just keep that in mind when you when you build and and all build your furniture but also bill it um, you want to make sure you're not going to lose money so this rustic farmhouse is very popular I, I do a ton of this um, you know from coffee tables the end tables the dining room tables uh, they're my big big ones console tables are another big one we sell a lot of them a lot of end tables um, and they're all different wood types, but they're usually going to be pine. There is some maple, there is you know some oaks, uh, some walnut, and also another good uh, thing you could do, I like to do is um, is mix your wood types. Like you could have like a pine frame like this desk here with a maple top, or you know, or you could do like a walnut top, and that also cuts the cost because if you're going to paint or stain something, I think it's stupid, in my opinion, to paint, you know, oak or stain oak white, or you know, or not, or even walnut so this is an all oak um kitchen island i did it's a four inch top um this was a nice nice kitchen island and these are big sellers also uh, i just use maple tops typically in a pine frame if i'm going to paint or poplar uh but also some are all maple or you know oak uh, frames depending on what the client kitchen wants island, i give them the option top, um frame. more hardwood the more money um uh, i prefer the hardwoods i think they last longer um they, they're more durable and honestly, there's less upkeep with them because a lot of times you don't have to paint or stain like these maple uh, kitchen islands here. I just they're just all natural. I just put some mineral oil, and some Osmo uh, on the frame, and some just mineral oil and beeswax on the on the tops because you want them to be food safe. We also go build uh, chest, uh, entryway benches. Well, entryway furniture is another big uh, seller you can you can sell. Uh, I like building these chest. Um, they're not too difficult as long as you make everything nice and square um, and you have your measurements correct because a lot of times they have to fit into a cubby like this so you're going to be cutting trim out and keep that in mind when you go to people's homes you're going to have to like you know work around things uh, whether it be um, you know trim you know uh, radiators um, vents for the air conditions and heat so you got to keep that in mind so this is some of the work I've done on a one client house um, we we did you know some tables we did uh these big giant oak um bookcases we did some floating shelves here these are white oak we did some pine ones down in the in the basement area and we did a lot of work upstairs also um with some accent walls and things of that nature so yeah we do a ton of work um and keep that in mind when you start growing you're gonna your your business is gonna expand to more of a carpentry or construction um Another thing I like to do for entryway furniture is, is like bookcases. These these are red oak uh, bookcases. These are also big sellers. I just built these with uh, dados um, and and really just screws and glue. Um, also like these little shelving units with like drawers. These are good sellers. These are a little more work now and you gotta really price these out correctly. Um, but little storage things I guess do sell. Uh, Especially if you keep your, your product uh, fairly reasonable priced. And you can sell these, especially for entryway furniture or like storage. Storage is a big seller uh, for people right now. And, you know, this here is, is uh, I worked on a metal worker there. Uh, I built the shelves. He built the metal. So that's another tip is when you start growing your business, you'll, you'll work with other woodworkers and metal workers as a resource. And they'll give you business and vice versa. You'll give them business back and that grows your business. So we do a lot of like uh, built-ins and closet storage and things of that nature. And these are things, and I have videos on all these, um, and I can't really link all of them because there's multiple videos. If you go to my channel, you'll see a lot of them. So you can build your furniture from, you know, pocket screws like this. Um, these are, uh, I guess, like the holy grail of beginning woodworkers. I still use them today, especially for uh, cabinet builds, um, you know, for center braces on my tables. And I still use them for my small furniture. You can also use dados, like I'm doing here. Dados are a good one on half flaps. Um, I like I like these for bigger, like industrial. You can also use dales. 
I've built many things with Dales. Uh, Dales work well, and also the Dread Dom Mech. This is probably my go-to tool for my bigger builds, especially, whether it be doors or big tables. Uh, dominoes are the way to go, in my opinion. And then you have things like this, like your um, your crafts. These are also good sellers. And don't um, ever like exclude this from your business. Um, like these coasters, these are gifts I usually give away. Uh, the noodle boards, the stovetop cover, whether it be you know pine or, or hardwoods. Also, I make my own finishing, and I give these away when I sell um, a cutting board. Uh, these are perceived value gifts. Also, I make a lot of American flags. Um, whether it be pine or I have also cherry and maple ones I make. Uh, but coasters are usually gifts I give away to people. Um, noodle boards I sell. And, you know, this is a red oak one. I do pine ones. You, you can customize them for people's initials. Um, you can make them hardwoods like this one. This is my wife, this is personal, we own. Another good thing I sell is uh, variety of covers. I do a lot of these, uh, especially um, where I live. There's a lot of older homes and they have radiator heat and you know some people like to put these covers on there because it not only covers them up you know but also you know it's it's furniture they use it for stores they use it for, you know for shelving um you know put putting their knickknacks and things on there um that's that's a good tip and you know benches are always a, a good seller you can make them as detailed as you want um you could do like nightstands um these are rustic farmhouse in a beach house so you, you can do any way you like um, I, I love building these. These are how I started my business with these end tables like this. Um, as long as you make them, you know, nice and square and do, don't make too many shortcuts, you, you can sell these. So here are some subtle things. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the video, um, angled legs, uh, tapered legs. Um, I like using a tapered leg jig. Also, if I'm doing like 15 degree angle legs, um, with dominoes on some of my furniture. That's perceived value and it also gives a nice little touch. Um, and, and that's how you stand out. Uh, I like to run chamfers on all my legs and frame pieces and also my tops. Uh, chamfers are roundovers. You do, do not want hard edges if possible. And that's the, something I do. I like to run a little chamfer on all my edges. Whether it be, like I said, a chamfer or a rounded edge. You want it, It's a nice detail. It looks like it's professionally professional work so that's how I like to uh, build my furniture De details are very important um, and you want to really uh, just stand out from other woodworkers and crafters in your area and this is just some, some of my work here Okay, it's this table. There's a video. It's probably my latest video. So your wood types, you go from pine to walnut. I mean, don't uh, exclude anything. Also, you could do like a live edge. Uh, I also have that as an option. That's a, a very high perceived value product. And you can finish it however you like, whether it be epoxy. Um, if it's a pine rustic farmhouse, I usually use like a stain or like a polyurethane, whether it be water based or oil based. Uh, either way, way uh, that's a cheaper option for beginning woodworkers. Uh, if it's like a cutting board or something, I use like to use mineral oil uh, and beeswax uh, and mix them. I make my own solution. Uh, epoxy is a big one though uh, for your tables. I also like to use Osmo. Uh, that's my go-to finish for all my hardwoods. And thanks for watching. There's just some like little details. Um, you know, some of my example builds. You know, from cabinet doors to storage, wine racks. Console tables, uh, dining room tables, um, end tables, commercial, residential. Don't exclude anything, but also don't get it over your head. Make everything correct and take your time and you can sell your products. Like I mentioned uh, earlier in the video, you can sell your products and grow your business. Uh, and, and it will end up growing into hopefully more of a carpenter construction because that's the next level. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, let me know. Uh, I answer all questions. I don't ask people to subscribe because uh, I think it's tacky. But if you find any value in it, that's fine also. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.